Greetings, everyone. I'm Dr. Matt Ayers, as you know, former president of Emmaus University of Haiti and new president of Wesley Biblical Seminary. And I'm just thrilled to introduce you all to Dr. Denson Charlo, the new president of Emmaus University. As you know, there's been a lot of transition and change over the past few months. On top of all the turmoil that's been happening inside of our societies, and in the midst of all that, I am so thrilled to see God at work. I could not be more excited or enthusiastic about Dr. Ginson as the Board of Trustees' choice for the new president. Dr. Ginson and I, our relationship goes way back. When Stacy and I first came to Haiti as missionaries in 2007, Dr. Ginson at the time was translating uh, for courses. Dr. Ginson and I did our master's studies together at Wesley Biblical Seminary, where I'm now serving as the president. We have lots of cross connections with Asbury Theological Seminary, where Dr. Ginson did his doctoral degree. We've been working side by side for all these years. In our working together so much through the years, there's a strong sense of continuity. Dr. Ginson, who you will get to know over time, clearly has God's anointing on his life, and he is the man for the time and the place. And so I'm just thrilled, Dr. Ginson, congratulations. I am so supportive and we will continue to pray. Thank you. Hi everybody, we are so grateful to God for what he is doing. And I am thrilled to be able to contribute in whatever capacity I can to keep Emmaus thriving. Uh, we, we praise God for a big first year we have this year. We have 32 students and half of which uh, uh, have been enrolled in, in the midst of COVID-19. So that says how much we are still hungry to learn the Word of God and COVID-19 as, as not dumping, has not weakened our enthusiasm to learn and Emmaus is the best place. And I also praise God for our staff, for, for the spirit, for a spirit of sacrifice, sacrifice that the staff has in Emmaus. We keep moving, we keep going, we keep growing we, in spite of every difficulties that we face this time. And the current situation could have weakened our relationship. But instead, we put our head together, we put our mind together, we put our resources together, and we're moving forward. So we thank God for uh, good health. Everyone is still healthy. Everyone is still in good health. So we thank God for this. Another thing we want to, pray, we want to praise God for is a sense of a renewed passion that we have for prayer. And it, we pray, we pray more. We, we feel God's presence with us. We can feel uh, His hand over us, covering us. So we thank God for our, our, the, the life of prayer that we're experiencing in campus, in our classroom, in our dorm and cafeteria, chapel services. He's answering our prayer. So why don't I invite you to pray with us and to pray for us. We have some pressing prayer requests. Our library is in a very good shape and, and we fear that it will be unsafe soon if we don't do something for it. So pray for this project. Pray also for academic support. We need to uh, be able to influence leaders in Haiti to be redemptive at every sphere of life in Haiti. Not just the church, but also the corporate world in Haiti. Emmaus needs to influence those people. So pray for academic support and new programs that we that we are planning to have and pray for wisdom discernment as we lead this very important institution in in haiti and 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 most of all pray for our um, financial support pray for provision and we still the same emails we have the same ministry we have a little bit more students this year we have the same staff but our our donations have been less than 20 percent of what they were last year so we know this is a difficult time but we trust god but we trust god and we also thank you for your commitment for your commitment to help us so we need your prayers we need help and we need your help would you help us keep emails thriving would you help us keep 
of the, this ministry going on in spite of this time of difficult time. Thank you so much and we pray all the blessings of the Lord upon you as you are thinking of coming along with us to this difficult situation. May God bless you and may God keep you. This is Imes family and we are happy to be here today and thank God for everything that he has done for us and we all together will say Imes! Imes!